All right, so let's import the image in. Now what we got to do is erase around the subject. I'm using an airbrush to do this. And what I'll do is I'll kind of outline them and uh, get as close as I can without messing the image up. And then I'll erase the big part out with a bigger brush. You know, and later on, just to be safe, like you might want to put it like against a white or black background depending on the image to make sure you got everything. Because you'll see sometimes a background will show you spots that you missed, whether it be a, a white or a black one. It just like I said, depends on the image. Okay, so we're almost done now. After we get done with this, I think I'm going to use an app called Snapseed, and it is a photo editing app. You can use other ones like Lightroom by Adobe, uh, but I like Snapseed. And what I'm going to do is uh, import it in there. First, let's 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 put a table. I erased out the table. I want to put a different table. Okay, now let's make a copy. It's always good to make copies. So you can go back just in case. Now let's export this into Snapseed. I think we're going to go with a PNG file. Let's see, there's editing that I just can't do in Procreate here. It'll add detail. Uh, I really like the HDR filter. I like the detail filter. Let's change it. Okay, awesome. That'll work. Get rid of the grain. Now let's save it in files. Okay, now let's ex export it back into Procreate. And when we get in there, what we're going to do is we're going to put a clipping mask over the old image. And I'm going to use my luminescent brush to put a background. See, it'll add a lot of texture and light right there. It'll help it look really nice. Now we're going to add this cup in here on the table. I probably should have done that before, but it's okay. Uh, there'll be certain tones that I have to erase out and it'll match up. It's okay. See, it's a little too dark. Let's put a shadow up under it. The light's coming from the left. Uh, and if the light's coming from the left, your shadow's going to be on your right. Now let's add the text. I actually made this text. It's called bold and distorted. We'll add some distortion right there. Make it look kind of eroded a little bit more than it was. And then we're gonna make a copy and, and put a blur on it so it looks like it's kind of glowing. And the light source behind him and to the left of him kind of suggests that anyway, so it really adds to it. And this is another uh, text that I created right here we're gonna add that in there we're gonna use orange we have no color on there it's a black and white image but just adding hints of color really makes things pop and black and orange and gray they all look really nice together so now what we're gonna do uh, I'm going to make sure that there's orange in the parental advisory and in my logo that goes in the right hand corner. I'm going to put a shadow behind my logo so it pops even more and turn the blur on. There we go. So now let's add some more texture. I'm just going through the textures here. We'll make it look like there's a fold in the left hand corner right here. That'll help make it look nice. And I'll probably add another one. 
just so it's not the only one that's on the screen. Yeah, we'll probably add it over here to the right. And there we go. That's it. We got an album cover. Appreciate you guys tuning in.